Hello and welcome back to Mag Mammal 3. So, continuing on with tier 4. We will keep playing as Sarna for one more session. After the last experience of another Wily Fortress like stage. Let's hope we get something that can be really chill and enjoyed for the sake of just enjoying it. Oh yes, we're meant to talk to you which look really cool. Fireman? The sheriff is pretty committed to keeping an old west theme here and sometimes it goes a bit far. We don't have a modern sprinkler system here. They actually just have me sit here and be a fire hydrant. Yep. That's why fireman. That seems to be a way... That looks like a tree over there. We also have this <laughs> and a zoomy up there. Delay, that was your name. Hey. Is this part of the meme? Because you're called Delay? What? I'm so confused. So, the text doesn't actually auto-scroll, and you have to hit... Wait... It actually takes that long? Talk about delay in Azumi, huh? Wow! It's like trying to browse Internet Explorer today. Jeez, I'm sure you've seen the meme about the response between different browsers and then... Internet Explorer has been made fun of. Holy damn, Delay Nazumi. You had the chance to play with a, a joke like that and you really took it. We have Hunter Woman once more. I'm fond of this simulation. Whoever made it has a great hunter's mindset. Oh. Always stay on guard, Sarno, or you may just fall into one of my traps. Huh? I don't wish to talk about anything else. I hate cowboys. What do we have then? Decoy Man by the Great Metaphor with an overall score of 41.20. Alrighty then. One of each. So what we got? Chill Man! But is that a different remix of it? No, it's just the original, isn't it? recording I was actually editing uh, dark and light temple video because that one has a lot of footage to go for an edit so seeing crystal Joe's re instantly reminded me <laughs> that I saw quite a lot of crystal Joe's in that stage but so far nothing too extreme we're just we're just vibing in the stage with children's theme. This song. Oh, I really like this song. Oh my god, let's check this. Oh, and the loop. Okay. I must apologize. I ran out of time and was unable to provide a proper boss fight. Enjoy cut now. Wait, that's the, that's it for the stage? Wait. Cut man, are you gonna actually stay in battle this time? And not Ow Oh I'm so Well Whoa! That cut man dropped an amp tank, but I had absolutely no chance of getting it. And it's not the end of the stage, huh? What are you? I've never seen you before. Psych! 
Okay, so- oh! <laughs> I got baited. You got me. Well played. I genuinely thought that was a good placement because after the boss fight, a heal. What? It's decoy! It occurred to me. That's what we're dealing with. What the hell are you? Oh no. One of, some of this is going to be fake, isn't it? Oh, this does not feel me with confidence. Or... Are we agreeing that this is real? That these platforms have to be real? Nice and done. Oh my gosh, it's all the same enemies, but they're doing different things? This is so weird. But I like it. Is this a secret path? Potentially? I have heard them talking about us, the energy element. They said that we have a mind of our own. What? You can do that to HP too? You got me again. That's twice. Well played. Oh, that one's real for sure. <laughs> it got me thinking. And then I realized something I ate. I exist. I didn't mean to read that. At least that's not an instant death trap. Oh yeah, I mean, you're not flashing. I now know, I can now see that you're fake. I had become self-aware and aware of my surroundings, and I was lonely. The other energy elements weren't like me. They weren't truly self-aware. Not on the same level as I was, anyway. Oh, you're fake yeah, again, okay. I decided to seek companionship, but I couldn't do it in my old form. I built myself a body out of the robot master technology, and I gave it the ability to create a hologram of itself to fool attackers in case I needed to defend myself. What? I called myself Decoy Man, based off my hologram weapon, and I fled here. But I was still lonely. Is that a real platform? No. I don't want to read the text up there as well. Okay. Cutman, one of the robot masters, needed a place to stay, so I invited him to my lair to keep my to keep me company and help guard my lair. He's nice, but his mind is limited. I needed more. What? You can't even done it for the. Oh, but it's actually real now. That is so weird. I love it. I tried to make a robot similar to myself, out of a trickster token. Sadly, all I got out of that project was a net that could hide in other objects. At least I can use the design to guard my lair. Yeah, it keeps working. You've got me three times now. Recently, a strange one-of-a-kind sniper Joe showed up here and refused to leave. I let him stay. He's pretty stupid and doesn't talk much, but he's my Spartan's minion, if you don't count Cutman. But my search for friends is not over. I don't think it will be anytime soon. We... Oh! Right, this was only for the tricks of open. So that whole side path with the dialogue was purely for the tricks of open. I mean, that's fine. see that time. Oh. I'm, oh, you are not bl you're not blinking, which means you're also fake. I'm not gonna fall for it this time. I've learned. Yeah. I've learned how to detect you guys. You just don't animate. But the HP, sorry, the life, looks pretty damn good. Ow. Oh, 
Oh, oh. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I see. Yes, please. Really want that. You're so okay. Yeah. Okay. I like this stage. I re oh, you're gonna pop up. Yeah. Ideally, I would have preferred not to take damage there. If someone was, was so kind to give me some HP drop, that would be amazing. Oh, I do not like this. Oh, it's a leap of faith for something. You don't know. I don't trust it. You're flashing, so you're real, right? Yes. Wait. I'm was I'm capped on e tank, so it doesn't heal me. <laughs> Wait. Oh, so this is fake. So this is not fake. I tried to play chillman for a moment there. Hmm. Where was I meant to go then? <laughs> It's this delay stage, actually. So where am I meant to go? Down somehow? Wait, I just realized there's a path down, yeah. Oh, okay, I just assume going there, so we have to go down here, okay. Oh, another trap, as per usual. Joes are just permanently invincible when they're generating their crystals. You're real. You're like a proper enemy. You're not a modified version. I like the gimmicks and the setups here. Oh, is it delay man time? It's upside down? No, it's, it's just an M. Oh, you're fake as well, aren't you? Wait. Hey, after all that, you actually gave me a real one. Wow, what is this sprite? Whoa, you shoot fast. Ooh. Oh god, you've gone Gemini man mode. Yet. That is an interesting boss though. Ah, I forgot that you just immediately shoot. So once you do enough damage, you become a Jupiter. Oh, there's the energy element! I just realized what's going on here! Okay, I think I figured out the pattern. Yes, yes I have. Although the gap is quite high to jump through, but... Ah, oh, and then you become real after all that. So this whole theming of the stage is an energy element trying to... or gaining its own identity. I like that stage! I keep getting startled by Sano's energy element sound effect. I like that stage! That was my favourite stage of Tier 4 so far. It genuinely felt like a really good stage, and it had so many gotcha moments which were really, really good. This was a great stage. This is what I expected to be playing in Tier 4, after a pretty rough start. That was great. Let's see what the judges thought of it. Mick, 33. 
Nice try with the fake out, but I didn't fall for it. I fell for it three times! Three times! The HP and Trickster token as well was really cute. Decoy Man does a good job making the initial level feel like an authentic crush job. Super quick to reach the boss, easy enemies, poor visual contrast, no real platforming challenge. I would have been fooled if it weren't for the name. To give the level some credit, the Crystal Joes in the rush job have some occasionally dangerous placement. Normally they aren't placed in ways that hit me, but I've been tagged here once or twice, and it's my own fault when it happens. Also props for the Cutman M tank. Is it even possible to get that? I like the reward for the risky close range kill. It is. Unfortunately, the real level sees no improvement on the fake one. The enemies are still too easy, a real shame, since while the concepts have a lot of potential, the fake flaws are a mild inconvenience at most, though that's better than frustrating. And the platforming is still dull. More prominently, the aesthetic is worse than the fake out. No thanks to the rather ear-piercing music, about the most interesting the level gets is the token room, and even then, I can't remember most of it. Lots of dialogue. I suppose I can give props for a custom boss, but Decoy Man is boring compared to Cutman, so the whole thing flounders. This started with a good premise, but the end result leaves a lot to be desired. It's a shame, really. I really, really enjoyed this level. I think the boss was really good as well. With the energy element always leaving a trail of itself after the oh, decoy man, not delay man, decoy man jump. Chin, 28. If it wasn't for the title of the stage, you might have actually got me with that opening bit. Either way, I don't think it would have changed my perspective on this level all that much. This is a stage with a very promising idea but ends up being held back by lots of issues. For a level that's meant to be based around deception, the design here doesn't do a whole lot to properly cap capitalize on that. Terrain and enemy configurations barely complement each other, making almost every obstacle completely unthreatening. It's a bit disappointing, since the custom enemies seem like they could be interesting to fight if paired with better room layouts. As it is now, almost everything here is pretty bare bones. The fake floor gimmick could have worked wonders to spice up the level, but the placement only serves to hinder your movements for a few seconds and might make you second guess a jump or two. On a related note, I could never tell if there was supposed to be an attempt at telegraphing with one of the fake floors in the token room. I bring this up since there's a crystal Joe that routinely falls from near the top of the screen towards the end of that section and it always looked a little off to me. That one oddity aside, the only thing left to mention is the boss, who is unfortunately just as basic as the rest of the stage. Because man pattern is completely fixed and predictable, and the clone he summons doesn't really add much depth to the fight. You'll still end up dodging him the same way, but now there's a slightly less room for error. All in all, this is a disappointing end to a stage that never really lives up to its potential. Hachi, 49. Illusionary Melancholy. I always have a difficult time pronouncing that word. Is it just Melancholy, Melancholy, or... Or what? Okay, you got me there with that fake out. That one was good. If it's the Robo Master in question, so I don't mind it. What I don't really like is that you can't tell which platforms are fake. Well, thankfully, the stage restrained itself from doing something evil with it. This can still lead to some unfair situations while fighting the enemies. And that's really all there is going on with the stage. The rest of the level design boils down to straight paths or shooting the enemies in the way. There aren't any significant setups that keep the player engaged with the level. Also, the music. It's very distorting and depressing sounding. I guess it fits the backstory of Decoy Man. Either way, it makes the stage kinda insufferable, intentional or not. Decoy Man has a rather simple pattern, but not so simple to get around with the projectile he leaves behind after each jump. Combine that with Decoy's high contact damage and a copy of himself showing up at the late half of the battle, this quickly becomes a rough boss fight for sure. I think I was nailing it after a second, on the second attempt. Flashman, 42. You have the blueprint for something truly special here. Present the player with an unusually short and unremarkable level that was obviously rushed, then reveal the real level, which develops a thought-provoking story and subverts expectations at every turn. The problem is this level topples its own potential by subverting all the wrong expectations. I'm talking about expectations such as text boxes that are free of typos, Custom sprites in a style that reads as Mega Man, screen transitions that are safe from any angle, 
and music that doesn't detract from the enjoyment of dreary dis uh, dissonance. I'm talking about a learning curve that teaches the player to be suspicious before being blindsided. I'm talking about challenges that grow in difficulty and complexity and that consist of more than a bunch of stationary enemies hanging out on the ground. Checkpoint screen count, overall focus and a well-handled fake out with Cutman are among the few things that meet my expectations. I do like the different varieties of metal, especially the cheeky token, and I like how the story is parceled out amidst a series of small challenges. I wish the story would work into the boss fight, though. I think some dialogue and one final bait and switch of some sort would have tied the whole thing together nicely. Some things that are obvious should be more sneaky. Example, the concealed towers that stand out like a sore thumb. And some things that are sneaky should be more obvious, e.g. the fake floors that are utterly indistinguishable from normal floors. Teaming can stand to be stronger, the plain foreground slash background graphics don't seem particularly decoy-ish. And there's nothing really deceptive or surprising about the enemies that aren't disguised. I love what the level could have been, but it needs a lot of work to get there. An ace, the highest scoring for this stage, 54. Man, after that intentionally crap opening, I'm not going to lie, I'm disappointed by this level. So much potential wasted. You had fake out flaws, disguised enemies, and the opportunity to really play over the player's expectations, which you didn't. Everything was rather predictable past the opening, which is sad. A few things I did rather like, as always, the rejig with rejigged. Death kit assets are nice to see, and I actually love the fake floor enemy. It's a shame the four-way Crystal Joe actually adds nothing to how you fight the enemy. He and the rejig cannon never gets placed in positions where their alterations amount to anything. Sadly, the level is just really basic at its core, and doesn't do much beyond the scope of the intentionally crap opening other than a few nifty new enemies. There's also this weird backstory of spelling almost as bad as mine, and I eventually sort of zoned out by the final few signposts. They don't really add much, also the music had a bit too many high pitched notes. The actual tune isn't bad, but the implementation is rather awful at times. So maybe there was a different pitch to Chill Man that I picked up on. Hmm. I'm not sure what to make of Decoy Man himself. His pattern is super basic, but still puts up out a challenge, as he hits pretty hard, and his small hops don't give that much room to manoeuvre. I appreciate the hologram, even if said hologram firing out harmful projectiles is a tad weird. Still, the stage is better for having an original fight. And I burst out laughing when I saw him, though. <laughs> yes, yes I did too. So I guess that counts for something. He has very rom hack quality all to his own. Like I said, I really like this stage. The whole decoy aspect really kept getting me. I truly appreciated how the health pickup got me. I didn't even look at it as it's not flashing. I just walked straight into it and got baited. I did instantly forget the title of the stage. I pretty much do that to all these stages. I read the title, go into it five seconds later, I've already forgotten what I'm playing. Sometimes it comes back. Also the Cerno 1-up after the Cutman fight, great bait because I was for sure thinking, ah, oh, that's my heal after the boss fight. But we actually get a real one up right at the end of the stage. Honestly, this was my favorite stage of tier 4 so far. Really well done. I hope we have more stages going forward because that was really, really fun to play. With that said, I'm gonna take a quick question pause and I'll be right back. 